food on mine. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, so I, I get to call rank. The pull rank. Is it recording already? Yeah. But you, you'll edit the nonsense out of the beginning. Or will you just leave this nonsense in? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're here at Jürgen's in uh, Germany. Where are we? Vorheim. What he said, Vorheim. They don't get it wrong. Yeah, they don't get it right. <laughs> Forschheim. Forschheim. That's what I said. Um, Ausfahrt. Ausfahrt. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we've been to the record shop today. We went to a few. Let, let's talk about the record shops. Because, initially, we are not a, a little bit disappointed. Well, to be honest, we're at Jürgen's house, right? So, whatever record shop you go to, you're going to be disappointed. You're going to be disappointed. It's going to, going to, going to, going to, going to be less of a choice because Jürgen's yeah. collection is like a, it's like a timeless historical artifact. It's a vault. A yeah. vault. Yeah, good word. It's a metal vault. But yeah, when we first went, um, I was like, well, hang on, we're in we're in Germany. We're we're at record shops here, and it didn't. They seemed a bit thin on the ground as we were starting to go. We went to about was it four or? Four we've gone to in Nuremberg, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then the, and they had they had a decent selection, yeah. They? But mm. they were all very savvy on the price of things. And then and we went to no um, bargains to be had, was there? No. We went to the third one, where we seen the uh, like Cannibal Corpse. And Is that the one that you showed in the other yeah. video? Yeah, all the all and the some absolute belters in there on the. The, yeah, the red and way, way overpriced. Yeah. Yeah, it was about double, wasn't it? <laughs> it easily, yeah, easily. But you were still getting off touching them, weren't you? Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, they, and even, then, they even had that LA Guns one. Fucking 120 euros for the second LA Guns album. 200 euros for the W Demolition Hammer. Yeah. Which you can. <laughs> I don't know. I would never pay that. The shop, yeah, basically. I would never pay that. But I can understand those, you know, those type of albums. But I can't understand the second LA Guns because it came out in '88, mm. when there wasn't the vinyl scarcity of the '90s. And it, it's I don't know. So I suppose the moral of the story was that all of the record shops they were decent enough, but the prices were there was nothing that was going to entice you. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then Jürgen said for the last shop, we'll go in. We'll go in the last one. These are the reasonable prices, didn't you? Uh, yeah. You've obviously been in there lots of times. Yeah. And um, we went in there, and it, initially you just like thought you were looking at because um, they're just throwing OG presses with with the reissues and everything, don't they? There's yeah. no no segregation and out like that. But then it started to reveal itself, didn't it? Uh, what was in the shop? What was the shop called, Jürgen? Uh, music Land. Music Land, yeah. So we got these nice bags as well when you bought something. And the, the, all these bastards got a discount on things, <laughs> and I got no discount at all. Um, I got such a good discount, I didn't even understand it myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't. But it, it, was, it was explained to you in German. It was explained to you in German. By, 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 a, just... by a Polish uh, <laughs> woman. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, yeah, I slapped a hand off and took it. I didn't care what but it was. Well, basically, you, well, yeah, you'll tell the story, won't you? As we show all these. Yeah, if, if you let me. Yeah, well, I was, about, I was about to just <laughs> steal the thunder. Well, who bought the most? I, I've probably got the most, but I didn't buy... Some of these I've bought actually off Jürgen. Right. But I've probably got the most in this yeah. bag. But if you go first and... Oh, right. so the, bit, so the bit where you didn't want to talk first is happening now, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Okay. You see how I just... <laughs> yeah. Hand so, it off. Yes, yeah, so we've got these nice little um, postman bag style um, vinyl bags. So, we'll start off... Do you know what? I'll start off with what I bought from... What's it called again? Music Land. Music Land. So, first one... Um, this is Outra Tombe from Canada. Um, second or third, I'm not sure. But HM2 soaked death metal. Of course. Shocker. It's, um, it's on. It, of course it is. Is it horrible? It is. 
<laughs> it is definitely it's death metal. metal. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Release on the Templar Mystery label, um, 18 euros. So I wasn't going to turn that down because it's twice that price on Amazon. Put that somewhere safe. Hang on, okay. that's it. Oh, is it just one at a time? Yeah. Oh, you okay. Didn't, you didn't blow your load. Well, I've got probably like twice as much. Ah, oh, yeah, go on and show another one. Shall I show another one? Are we happy with that? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a bit of filthy, dirty, horrible death metal. And next, we'll go for... But a classic German, I suppose, thrash. You would class them, wouldn't you? Despair. Yeah, yeah. This is their debut. History of hate. Uh, this I actually purchased from Jürgen. Yeah, because Jürgen... I, I bought a a copy. I'm anal about my inner sleeves and stuff like that. I wanted it with the inner sleeve. So uh, Mark and I, we did a we did a quite good deal. For, for both of us. I was umming and ahhing over buying this one, OG copy. Jürgen turns out he's got a white a white label promo copy of it, but he wanted the original OG copy to go with the rest of his collection, which is the same. So yeah, I purchased this. Um, features Robert Kampf on vocals, the, um, the guy who started off Century Media. I think this is the first release. On Central Media Records, and it also features Waldemar Sulwicht, who later later played in uh, Grip Grip Incorporated. There you go. A bit of um, what year was this? 80? 88. 88. Yeah. A bit of despair. History of hate. Okay. All yours, Michael. <coughs> I hang on. What did I get? Because I got a lot of reissues. No. Well, well, well. Yeah. I got this. <laughs> I got this, I've just discovered this band recently. Um, oh, it's on two records. I'll take them out of the way. I just discovered this band recently, um, <coughs> Crypt Sermon, and this is their second album. Um, the, Ruin, the Ruins of Fading Light. Um, on Dark Descent Records, is it? Yeah. Yeah. So I got the, the newest album that they've just put out. Uh, a few weeks ago, I was totally taken with it. I've been streaming that, and um, I actually got in touch with Jürgen and, and, and said that the cheapest I could find this uh, in the UK for was £75, which was just for me getting into a new band. I, I would be reluctant to pay £75 That's for anything. Isn't it, for a new release. Well, it, it's 2019. The sort of standard heavy metal mixed with Candle mass <coughs> uh, and sabotage type of thing. That artwork's awesome, though, isn't it? Anyway, uh, there was no way I was going to pay £75 for a band that I've only just gotten into. So I asked Jürgen if he could uh, source one for me, and he got he got hold of one. Uh, is it on? Yeah, it's on sort of a purple and silver vinyl. There's two of them in there. I absolutely love them. I, anyone that watches my channel knows I'm... Not easy to please with new bands. I feel like everything's been done before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the, the whole death doom, I'm not saying the death doom, but anything really that's doomy or something like that isn't something I know too much about. So where uh, somebody might say, oh, well, I love Candlemas, I'm not going to bother listening to these new pretenders or something like that. I don't have um, much of a connection to Candlemas. Although I am working on that as well. Um, and Crypt Sermon just definitely do it for me. These lot, the jury's still out with them. You lot aren't, I, aren't sold. I put them on my wish list on Amazon when it came out, but I was never convinced enough to pull the trigger. And like you said, the price just went yeah. astronomical. Yeah. So. Even for the CD versions. Yeah, yeah, they must have been a short press. Wasn't it Dark Descent? Which I suppose it will be a short press. Being a smaller underground label, decent, really. Though. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, I, I think Mark t Mark seems to think I'm taken with it for the moment, and in twelve months' time I'll be like, oh fuck off, I don't want that. <laughs> but I might, I might catch you out. Uh, I hope you do. I hope you do. Or watch it out for sale in a future video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's I, I haven't bought as much as some of them, so I've still got things to show. But yeah, who's next? Andy, Hello. can Andy. you remember him? He used to do, he's got actually a YouTube channel, haven't you? He? You may remember me from yeah. certain channels such as Fabi <laughs> Marshall and Metal Mogul. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so I've, I've been kind of out of the record buying game for quite some time and I was strong. I promise you I was strong. Paula, my wife, if you're watching this, I was strong for the, <laughs> for the first few days. It but was. then when you're surrounded by people just buying records and <laughs> be playing a load of records here and just talking music the whole time, I kind of thought I deserved a little treat, a little memento of my holiday here. That's what it is. Uh, it's, it's a souvenir. souvenir. It's a souvenir. Yeah. Yeah. Better than a fridge bag, but, but it's, <laughs> and it's, it's more than a souvenir. But I'll, I'll show two that I picked up now because they're kind of related. So in this um, record shop that I... I forgot the name again. Music yeah. Land. Music Land. Music yeah. Land. It was a great record shop, I just can't remember the name. Actually, it's a bit of a crap name for a record shop. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I found a few OGs that I wasn't looking for, but there were bands that I knew. Um, and they were at a decent price. So, um, And the funny thing is, I've come to Germany and picked up a couple of New Wave of British Heavy Metal albums. <laughs> Well, anyway, but I found the uh, second more album. We actually saw this because we went to this record store twice and we went yesterday and today. And I sort of ummed and ahmed. And Jürgen convinced me that this was better than the first album, which I quite like. The first album has Paul Mario Day on it, who was that first uh, Iron Maiden, or one of the first Iron Maiden yeah. vocalists. Uh, but he's not on this one. We've got uh, Mick Stratton on this. I think this was 82 on Atlantic, so... There was that one. That was nice and cheap. In fact, this was part of the deal that I didn't get because I ended up buying three records. I'll just do two now and we'll, we'll go around. But I had uh, two records that were 10 euros each and this one was 7.50. And as was explained in German to me, which I didn't quite get, I ended up getting this one for free. So I was having an hour in, but... Um, what more do you want? Deal. What more do you, do you want? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> that kind of week. Um, <laughs> How long have you been sat on that? <laughs> All day. And speaking of um, speaking of Paul Mario Day, I did find the uh, second Wildfire album, which is the band he went to after more. This is Summer Lightning. <laughs> I think this is around eighty two or eighty three as well. Um, doesn't look very metal from the uh, picture on the back, but this was a band I actually got introduced to uh, again <laughs> via Jurgen, via Mike. Uh, CD that was sent around, you know, the whole VCLT thing, pass something on if you, if you like it, if you don't like it. And it wasn't Mike's cup of tea, pass it on to me. Love the first album and then seeing this in uh, the record store today. Really looking forward to hearing it. So that was my second pickup from uh, Music Land. Music Land. Music Land. Yeah, music Land. Music Land. Yeah. What did you get here? So first of all, I want to thank these uh, three guys for heading over to my place. Actually, these guys are sitting on my couch right now, and usually I sit over there, and I missed the Contact in Blood um, streams, so I invited them to have my personal <laughs> Contact in, in Blood stream, where I can actually interact without uh, typing a comment in. So, thank yeah. you guys for coming over. You're, thank thank you. you for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us. Perfect host. Much appreciated. Yeah, and I had to use my brain a lot because we made a couple of deals. We, we're going to talk about that. I well, see, before I go into it, being here around Jürgen, just joke about it before, it's like having your own version of Alexa, but in music form. So every time you want to go, Jürgen, what year did so and so hear that? <laughs> yeah. Jürgen, what yeah. band was so and so in before that band he was in, before the last band he was in? And you go, oh, yes, that was back I'm going to see if I can change my Alexa at home. <laughs> so you can change the name so I won't miss him so much when I get home. <laughs> Jürgen, <laughs> what's, what's the weather going to do tomorrow? <clears throat> hey, go, go so, on. like, Mark thought about picking that one up, but 25 euros was too much for him. So I thought about a deal and we made it. So he got my um, original uh, white label press. Actually, this is Century Media number one. So I have the other Dispair albums, but I've not got them on white label pressings. I've got them with the inserts and with the actual center labels. And I wanted this, so I sold Mark my copy. And we got back to that record sh uh, shop today, and I picked up the one they had. Yeah, you, you first can, you've got to have the proper set. You can't start mixing and matching. Yeah, you can't yeah. have three. If, you, if you've got three, one of them is a test press, and you see the other one that's going to match all the others yeah. and, and the original release. Yeah, that's why, that's why we did the deal. Yeah. And Mark has got a, a little connection to Century Media because his old band 
uh, enchantment was signed to Century Media. True fact. Jürgen, what label were enchantment signed to in 1994? <laughs> Roadrunner Records. <laughs> Shall I show some now? Yeah, yeah. Because I think I, I you, think you should probably show a couple of. I will. I'll show a few. Um, these are th this one is from one of the earlier shops we went to in Nuremberg. Yeah. Not Music Land. Um, Napalm Death. Um, what's it called? Hate in Utopia. Uh, it's a bootleg release. Bootleg um, from a recording in somewhere in Europe in 1992. Um, the back there, yeah, why it's got the uh, the nail bomb point blank picture on that, I'm not sure, but that's what you've got to love about bootlegs. And if ever I see a bootleg from a band that I'm a big fan of, I'm going to pick it up. But well, that was uh, nine euros. We show you a couple so, of these. Is that the record store on the label? Yeah, it's it's called Mono Monotan or Monotone. 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 <laughs> but yeah, that was the only one we picked up from there. Um, what did I pick up together now? Let me see if I can get these together now. That oh, really sweet to quite a bit. <laughs> I know, yeah, but they're all real bargains. I haven't spent much money. Um, I think Mike spent more on wine than I on these <laughs> CDs. I'll show you this one, a quick one. I won't talk about this a lot. This was five euros. Turned out it was less than five euros because I bought it with another CD I'm going to show you next. Um... And that was five euros, but you got twenty five percent off in Music Land. If you if you spent under ten, was it ten euros? Yeah. You got twenty five. What a off. strange deal to offer! I know. Don't I spend as much as you might, and we'll give you a twenty five percent discount. Yeah, man. Yeah, the, le the, the less you spend, the more we'll give you up, give off. Sammy Hagar's Standing Hampton. Can't remember the year. Jürgen. What year is Sammy? I don't know oh, anything okay. about right. Sammy fucking Hagar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm only showing it because I am a fan of uh, Van Halen back in the day. One of my entry bands into the scene, and it was it, it worked out three euro seventy five, which is about three quid. But the fucking PM resistance of this, yeah. What is it? What do you call it? Peace, um, peace, peace. peace. Yeah. Yeah. We're not front time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had a few beers. We'll be all right. Uh, this gonna, one, right off Nuclear before. Blast, 1993, if I remember rightly. Jürgen, what year did Disembowelment release? 1993. Yeah, perfect. Pick this up. Um, Australian Doom Grind Pioneers, they are known as. Um, this is their only full-length full length release. Transcendence <laughs> into the Peripheral. A CD I've been looking for for ages, um, and I've never been able to pick it up because it's it goes for big money, and I've managed to pick this up for three euro seventy five. So I have had a semi on <laughs> ever since. Say, tell everyone I was to work. <laughs> it was bigger oh. than a semi. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I've been sleeping in the other room. So <laughs> yeah, I, don't, yeah, I, I can't no, vouch for it. No one will uh, stay in the same room as me. <laughs> Um, and the last one I'll show you quickly. Um, this is a little bit of a. This was picked up in Nuremberg as well, wasn't it? Yeah. This is yeah. a bit of an oddity. This. This is um, Sanctuary into the Mirror Live. Um, five tracks recorded live back in the day. I think it was put out as some kind of radio promo yeah. originally. But this on the, not on the B side after the five tracks, has got the album Metal From Hell by Satan's Host, um, a US band playing more of a traditional heavy metal sound. Nothing like Sanctuary, such an odd combination. And the singer on the album is actually uh, Harry the Tyrant Conklin from uh, uh, Jack Panzer or Yak Panzer. Yeah. Again, seven euros, so just over a fiver. I couldn't leave it behind. It was a strange combination, wasn't it? Yeah. Satan's Host featuring Sanctuary. <laughs> Bizarre. All the other way around. But yeah, it's, um, I'm a big fan of Sanctuary, so I couldn't leave that behind. Yeah, actually, the Satan's Host album is total bullshit. It's not that bad. It, it is. It's uh, not. Every song, it's a bit hit and miss. <laughs> Some songs are actually quite good, and the songs were like... Yeah, meh. yeah. But again, being a big fan of Sanctuary, it's a... And, and I, I am attracted to these sort of oddities, you know, for some reason. Mm. It is a strange one, isn't it? 
You've got to pick it up for that sort of pipe. Got it, yeah. Um. Oh, did you no, want to no, show no. more? No, that's it. All right, right, okay. Well, for now, for, for now, for now, for now, that too. Um, no. This one, I, I did not know this. Myself after that disembowelment. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know this album until um, I think I seen Brendan show it. It's Quick Change, Circus of Death from 1988 on Roadrunner. And it's, it's thrash. It's what you would expect from Roadrunner in 1988, 89, 90, that type of deal. And he showed it a while ago. And, I, you know, everyone knows I've been on, on a big thrash kick uh, this year. And um, I made a note of it, added it to my want list. And um, I missed out on a couple of auctions. Uh, recently, I didn't bother um, pushing the boat out too far to, to try and win it, but I ended up getting it yesterday for the equivalent of £12, £11.80 or whatever it was, so um, at that sort of money, yeah, I don't think it's ever been reissued, this is an, an original press in excellent condition, so... Um, it's a great pickup, isn't it? Um, with, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not massively familiar with it to, to be able to you know, say a great deal. I just knew that I've, I've, <coughs> given, I've given it a couple of listens over the last few months and thought, yeah, that, that's good enough to buy, definitely. And you're saved on the, the shopping costs. costs. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it worked out at less than £12. So If you like Anthrax, you're going to like that. Yeah. That's why I have. And a bit of agent time. steel. Mm. Mm. Did we play that last night? Yeah. Yeah, that was when the sound got like Anthrax. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the riffs. Yeah. Like in the vocals. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'll show some more in a minute. Andy. Right. Andy's this is the other one I got from um, Music Land. <laughs> We're not remembering that well, are I, we? I actually saw this one and straight away I knew I was going to buy it. Even though I was picking up a pile and I ended up putting some stuff back. Um, and it's Black Lace Unleashed um, from what, 80. I can't read it, it's too dark. Yeah, go on. I hope he doesn't know. I don't about. think you're going to know this with you. I think it was 83 or 84. Um, but it's their debut album. I've got their other album, which is a much more. Um, I like that I could do song. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that, and you've been sitting on that all day as well, haven't you? <laughs> but it's uh, female fronted, um, just straight up metal, really. A bit um, a bit on the trashy side, as you yeah, call it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, I love it, and it looks very. You'd say it was glam, but it was too early before the glam scene would come in, so a little bit like um, uh, a trashy version of Motley Crue, I guess, that first Too Fast Follow, which I remember now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, it's, uh, the, yeah it was the, uh, the not an essential first. album by any means, but it uh, it was the other one that I've been looking for for a while. And on Mausoleum, I always used to pick up everything I saw on Mausoleum, but not so much these days. Don't find so much to be honest. It's actually produced by Ross the Boss as well. Is so, it really? There we go. Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah, so that was the uh, the last one for that, and then got another one. I've got, I just got one left. Okay. Well, I've got. I, I went into the uh, the Jurgen archives, got a big bunch of stuff to be selling, and flipped through, and found um, album that I was a band that I actually don't have. Really, I, I'm aware of Acid. I know what they sound like, and um, <laughs> Jurgen have this. It's a red vinyl, a uh, Wax Maniacs uh, reissue, and he gave me a good deal, so I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't give that up. Now I'll probably have to look for the other uh, mm. couple. So yes, this is the third and final LP from Belgian Legends. So yes, I, I'm sure a lot of people are more aware of this album than I am. But uh, yeah, it was great to great because it was there. I've never heard that. I'll, I'll have to check it out. No, I haven't. I've, heard, I've seen it. You see them shown quite a bit. Yeah. Never heard it myself. But I don't, I don't know them. Okay, that, I've just got one more after this, so on to you, you can. It's on my second... Is Barocas Helm live album Life in Athens uh, 2001. So, Alan of the Heavy Metal Energy channel he did a, a video not too long ago about uh, Barocas Helm, and I got the, their three albums, but I was missing this. And I found that for 20 euros, it was it's brand new, um, just on black vinyl. I don't know how it sounds, I haven't had a chance to, to listen to it. And this one came out on Eat Metal Records. So yeah, 
let's see how how that is. This was actually released in uh, 2021. So yeah, let ho let's hope it's got a good quality. But I like Brocker Sam, obviously. <laughs> Did you not get drinks for us? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is his video. Yeah. <laughs> Play by my rules now. <laughs> Shall I show these other CDs? Yeah. Because mm. I've still got a couple to show you. Um, Jürgen, what year did Dark Millennium reach? I can answer that one. Show the Celestial Burden. Put on your reading glasses and read it for these, yourself. I can't. 92. I've had, I've had a few too many beers, if I'm honest, Jürgen, <laughs> but I can't. Anyway, kindly, Jürgen has um, gifted me this CD. Um, you want you want beer? Yes, please. Please. Mike has spoken about this on his video, on his channel in the past, and it's an album. They've changed the style over the years, Dark Millennium, haven't they? Are they Swedish? German. German. And it's an album that's always intrigued me, um, so I wanted to check it out. And like I say, Jürgen's very kindly gifted it to me, and I, ca I cannot thank the man enough. Next, we have got, and these three pickups are all from... Jürgen, what's the name of that shop again we went to? Musicland. <laughs> Musicland. <laughs> Music Leno. These are all from Musicland. Bit of a classic, more German um, bands featured. Scorpions Worldwide Live. Uh, is it on the phonogram label, is it? Oh, I'm going to open it for you. I can't see it any, anyway. But one of those albums that I've wanted in my collection and I've never picked up. It was €2.50. Cents, which is two pounds in English money. Uh, this one is a band called Mind Rot. I believe they're American. Jurgen, I never seen that. Couple of <laughs> Our Mind Rot from America. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is um, like a, a death doom band. I saw. I first saw this band shown by um, Dennis on, on Analog Archives. And he was sort of talking about Death Doom gems that were weren't not readily available, weren't much listened to or, or revered. Um, I've actually got a copy of this already. This again was two euros fifty, so I bought it really just to pass on to somebody else in a VCLT at some point. But it's a an absolute belter. And last but not least for the CDs, a band from Tokyo in Japan, Church of Misery. Uh, doom metal at its finest a band I'm not too familiar with but I've seen a lot of people talk about this band in the VC recently um, Dave Dave Cavernous Dave yeah I've heard Chris at Green Sabre talk about them uh, features Albert Fish on the cover that's what their albums are all about oh are they? all about serial killers and I just thought they were Sabbath clones depraved um people <coughs> um, this album houses of the unholy it was five euros but i got it for less than that because of the 25 percent discount so it was three euro 75 so uh rise above records release very happy to pick that up finally add a bit of church of misery to the collection you know what i just just recognized i'm the only one when I'm, when i'm doing videos i usually drink a beer <coughs> these guys don't drink beer on their videos. Now, they are all drinking, What's and that? I'm having water. I'm the asshole here. <laughs> I have to drive. To be fair, you're, you're driving. You're not that big an asshole because you're driving this. Just You'd be a bigger asshole if you, if you, <laughs> you were didn't drive this. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's not true. Um, we love you. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to show one that uh, I've slagged off in the past. But uh, Controversial. Yeah. So I, I got that ages ago. I did not know about this album, and, and a lot of people didn't, because I think, what did it come out in Mexico in like 86 or something yeah. like that? That's ju just one vinyl pressing, and it's uh, Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Morbid Saint, Spectrum of Death, really savage sort of death thrash, uh, like Pleasure to Kill, and uh, stuff like that. Dark, Dark Angel, that type of deal. Um, and I, I bought the CD a few years ago when it first got reissued but back then I used to buy way way more stuff than I, than I do now and quite honestly I put it on and because it didn't hit me immediately uh, I moved on to something else and I always sort of thought ah, it's overrated the barked out 
sort of vocals and stuff like that just didn't didn't um, pull me in on first listen. And but because I've been on this huge thrash kick and I don't sort of tend to buy anywhere near as much as I used to, um, I've had the time to to go back over some albums and and digest them a bit better. And I thought, yeah, um, despite the horrific artwork. Uh, and, and I've checked this press and it's a 2022 reissue and apparently that, that's the correct um, photo for the back cover as per that's the original I'll watch it later oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and there, there was a, a, a press that came out a few years earlier that had the wrong photo or whatever so and uh, although this is only a reissue and things like that it's it's not um, it's not particularly cheap, and it's uh, it's high roller, so you know you know the drill. You know you get the poster, um, good quality uh, product all round really, and uh, it was only seventeen pound. Um, so there's no way I'm leaving something like that. Um, who wants to show? Go on, you show. I've got I've, I've, got, I've, I've got, got one left. I've got show. two. Shall I show another one? Yeah, because I've got two. So neither of these um, vinyl I'm going to show you are from any of the shops. These are from Jürgen's uh, awesome collection. The first one I'm going to show you is Evil Dead EP, Rise Above, originally released 88. Jürgen? 89. 89. Um, this, I saw this in Jürgen. Mm -hmm. What's that shop we went to again? Music Leto. Music Music, no. music, music you've got Lado. Stop. You've got to stop. <laughs> this is my channel. <laughs> music Lado. <laughs> music Land. I saw it in there. Uh, music Land. It's, it's only a, a, a three track. It's got four tracks, but one's a, a short instrumental. Three track EP. Um, that they, cover wouldn't sell it to me. I've they had been. a copy of this in Music Land. 25 euros. Am I going to pay that for a three track EP? Um, it Ooh, you were wrestling, weren't you? I was wrestling, because I, I love this band. American thrash band. This is a, a road racer um, issue. The one in music land is a steam hammer. Anyway, I wrestled with it, decided not to do it. Got back to Jürgen's. Jürgen pulled this out of his collection. He went, you wanted it, did you? But you, I said, yeah. He said, well, there's a little tiny hole in it. Um, if you want to buy this off me for... A lot cheaper than the one that's in there. He's looked after these two cunts, hasn't he? <laughs> I'll sell it to you, and, and then I'll put that money towards the other version. So, yes, this is from uh, Jürgen's collection, so I know it's looked after. But yeah, Evil Dead, superb thrash speed metal from the US. Jürgen, where are Evil Dead from originally, do you remember? I know they feature a member from Agent Steel, don't they? Yeah. Aren't they from the, uh, the skate area of... Um can't remember. I'm not sure if they're even Bay Area. No, no what do they call it? Um, Venice Beach. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Okay. But uh, yeah, Evil Dead. Made up to have that one. Andrew, Andrew. Okay, this is the way. I don't <laughs> last like one. I keep calling you Andrew. <laughs> is this your Andrew? last one? Andrew all the way. This is my last one, and this is also from the house of Jürgen. Um, so we were, um, first night we were here, it was... I lost it, there we go. It was... Everyone taking turns picking things from Jürgen's collection to play. And honestly, it's vast. It's like overwhelming to actually pick something, especially when most of the stuff in here I know is I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to like it. It's from the death metal variety, the brutal stuff. <laughs> so I, I went over to one of the many cubes around and I randomly picked out one. And that popped uh, Stormwitch. And this, bear in mind, this is a completely random collection. So, you know, I don't know how light. The video has got darker in the room since we started recording this. It does. Um, it does yeah. uh, this is a high roller reissue of Storm Witch's debut um, called uh, Valpurgus Night. Is that yeah, is that that's correct? Correct. That's. I've been here three days, so I can speak fluent German already. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. And when I pull this out, you can kind of look to me anyway. You know what? Great for you, said some like second-rate German metal. Yeah. Straight away, I thought I've got to hear that. That's right, <laughs> that's right up my street. I'm glad I did, and then literally what day after he was, uh, he offered to do me a deal on it as well. So uh, very happy. Um, it's got the claw. Any album with the claw on it 
anyone who's got a claw in any kind of picture that you ever see, top, top. <laughs> I know what's going to happen here. He's been sorting these two out with these great deals. And before we get on that plane of mudder, I know what he's like now. He's going to come out with the yellow goat battery and be all like, here, go on. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to leave you out, did you? <laughs> Imagine, imagine. Yeah. So that was my again surprise buys. I've not been buying much at all this year, and um, uh, but this trip has been absolutely fantastic. And, uh, I've got some great second-rate German metal, and to me, it's it's all first-rate. Is it like are you saying second-rate German metal because it's not as good as Running Wild? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's good though. We all enjoyed yeah. it. I don't know if you did. Yeah, the first couple of Stormwatch albums are really good. I can't remember. It's kind of good. It's, it's Gallop. It's, it's it's that lovely traditional heavy metal that you don't, you're all into anyway. So, yeah. Um, so when but, when I call it some, something a second rate, it's not um, meant as an. Oh no! Not exciting it. I get excited by it. Yeah. I get, yeah. I get it's a half nice job. It's <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Do, how many of you miss this fucking idiot here? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! I I hope you didn't actually remember to press record. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> that's my lot. Um, I get the other half. Of <laughs> the oh, this is oh. a family show. <laughs> not any longer, it's not. Over, eight, over eighteen to only. Right, well, it's my channel, so oh, I've got to go last. Oh, so okay, you've got okay. to go Did again. You want to go first? Oh, no, okay. You have to go last. So, so again, another one what from. Was the final words. What was the final words? And he's drinking wine out of a bottle. I know. So Jive. <laughs> this is another one again from the house of Jurgen, as we will say. And um, this is a high roller reissue of an album that was put out originally in. <laughs> Jurgen! <laughs> what year was this record originally put out? Which record? Read, read me the name and the title. <laughs> Jürgen, do it. Jürgen. Well, go on, at least try it. How would you pronounce that? I'm going to go for Pockel, Pockel Gap. Pockel Gap. Pockel Gap. Pockel Gap. And the album title is Jürgen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even read that. I've, I've forgot my glasses. Yeah. I no, that sure. one came out in 86. 86. Polish schnitzel. Something like that. <laughs> this is um, again. I suppose you want to call it second-rate traditional heavy metal. I'm not sure if it was Thomas um, when I saw this album on his channel. <laughs> Leave him alone, you prick! <laughs> Such a bully. I'm not sure if that's when I saw it, but the, the, just the album cover enticed me in. And again, Jürgen has certainly looked after us, uh, us UK boys. Well, some of us. Well, this is quality. Again, it's got that galloping sort of Iron Maiden style. Sort of oh, riffing. that's right. Yeah, that's what. Um, yeah. And the vocals. I know the vocals may put some people off, but I I, I really like it. And uh, like I say, it's from the house of Jürgen, so I'm all over it. So that's uh, Pockel Gep from Hungary. Uh, <laughs> Thomas, I did not <laughs> okay <all> this. <laughs> uh, and lastly, uh, what I've got what is you, Thomas. Uh, you? Another uh, similar thing to the uh, Morbid Saint thing, you know, um, doubling back, checking back over albums that you guys out there have been recommending in the thrash <clears throat> mold and everything. Uh, Sacrifice from Canada, forward to termination from, I think it's about 1987, something like that, isn't it? Um, I've got to be honest, I only heard about them because of people in the VC. I had no idea about them. Um, I gave them a cursory listen a few weeks ago, and I thought, yeah, get it on the list. And again, £17. And the album cover is your favourite colours. Yeah, I like yellow and green combined. I bought a can earlier, but I thought it was fizzy, and it, it's not. That was a letdown. But this, <laughs> we <should cut> that. <laughs> yeah, but you know, poster, and you get a, a photo card and stuff in there. Is that a high roller? That's it, another high roller. Yeah. Are these the ones that became sacrifice BC? That's just sacrilege. Sacrifice. Ah, yeah, sacrifice. yeah, cut off. No, that, that that's sacrilege. This, this is sacrifice. This is sacrilege BC. 
Yeah. But they don't, you yeah, okay? We'll cut this bit out as well. Yeah. Yeah. We won't. <laughs> but try, try to look like we This what we're music doing. land shot had so many high roller. Yeah, the, records there must have been a deal. Promise to God. Remembered it. And as it turned out, when you were sat outside and we were still in there, the lady came over who apparently mm. didn't speak any English, but she's got no. really, really good English. She waited until Mike and you She said, the shop. Oh, it goes, there's, there's more. <laughs> Shh, come here, she said. Shh. Yeah, there's more, room, there's more rooms around there. You, you were looking for metal. And I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there was like eight rooms. They weren't all full of metal, but we yeah. just kept on going round and round and round. Yeah. And that's where I picked the Scorpions CD up from. Was in that little back room, two euro fifty. Oh, and uh, we seen an old woman with her pants down in the in the street, just just casually standing around uh, with her big saggy ass hanging out in the street. And it's no wonder we're out of fucking Europe. <laughs> A bum crack was drier than Dutch death metal, wasn't it? That's right. It was drier than uh, sinister <laughs> cross the sticks. <laughs> <laughs> well. I hope you like this. I hope so. You like this video. Uh, we've, we've got to try and get insults everywhere. I think, and uh, yeah, um, it's been a great few days with these fellas, and um, we just thought we'd show you what we've. These are our board. souvenirs from a, yeah. from from a few days that, of just <laughs> the memory of lasso. Yeah, lasso. Yeah. Been lasso. A yeah, saggy ass. Saggy it was like it was like. Uh, a, she par a party balloon that you find behind the couch <laughs> the following day. <laughs> it was. Like, uh, can, we stop? It? Yeah. can we stop that? But she's obviously, she must live there like a troll under the bridge because she had a chair. She, didn't she? Yeah. she had a little, like a little chair with all her stuff yeah. around it, bless her. Yeah, I can tell you she lives there. Like a troll? Yeah, party balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Right, thank you for watching, everybody, and uh, I don't know what my next upload will be, but it won't be as much fun as this. No, <laughs> and I'll be back on my own, and it'll just be shit, but, you know, but just enjoy what this has been for now. It'll certainly be before my next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Scott's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we miss Scott, you, Yeah, Scott. I know. Yeah, let, let's, let's acknowledge <clears throat> that as well. Uh, we would love to have had Scott here, um, but he's just... Too Three. busy, too Blue. busy with the Blue us off, the next yeah. phase of his, you know, life really, isn't it? The, the whole it's one thing to go to work, but it's another one to to start a business and mm. you know throw yourself into all that. So we miss you, mate. Wish wish you were here, and uh, well, no, that just leaves just one word left to say on this <laughs> video. Do you know what that is? Bye. Bye. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew you had. I knew you had. That's why I looked at you. Know, I've got to do the hands so at least he realises what it is. <laughs>